I'm sure you've heard the phrase, the money is in the list, and they're referring to the email list that you're building as you're building your blog or your YouTube channel or anywhere else. And in this video, I want to give you an introduction and a few of the reasons why I really enjoy MailerLite and why I recommend it to most new beginners um, in this video. So what we're going to cover in this video is creating a landing page directly on MailerLite's servers, which makes it very easy. If you haven't invested yet in any page builders, or any additional software, this is a great option for you to use. We'll also show you how to build a form that you can embed from MailerLite into your own WordPress without having any other fancy software as well. And I'll also give you just a brief little walkthrough of their interface and why I like it so much. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so I am here on my WordPress dashboard. Let's pop over to MailerLite real fast. And so here on MailerLite, they give you a nice little dashboard where it can show you, don't look at my stats, that wasn't a very successful email there. Um, this is my real account, just so you know. Uh, but you can see the last email that you sent, you can see how many subscribers you have and how many were growing. Uh, you can see some additional stats. This isn't quite working right. Uh, that's still working on it. They have a new integration that is kind of getting there. It's not quite there yet. Uh, but for what you need for a beginning blogger, it gives you a lot of what you need. So from the dashboard, what we want to do is let's build a form. And for this one, let's assume you have nothing yet. Let's assume you don't even have a website up and you don't have the technical skills to really get a uh, fancy looking landing page going. So this is a great option for you. You can go over here to your forms area and you can have three different options of forms to build pop-ups, landing pages, or embedded forms. So we'll click here on the landing pages tab. And here you can see, you'll probably have nothing when you're first getting started, but that's okay. What we're going to do here is say, create a landing page. And you know, right before I do that, look how easy this interface is to navigate. Like I've used active campaign. I've used drip. I've used a, a, everything under the sun pretty much. And MailerLite always stands out to me as being the best bang for your buck, like value wise, but also in pure simplicity of giving you what you need and in a very nice package. So here we are, the landing page name. Let's call this a uh, free checklist. We're just going to create a little checklist here. And we'll create it. And now uh, select subscriber groups. So if you're not familiar with uh, what groups are, or segments, or tags, this is basically a way for you to better understand and build a better relationship with your subscriber list. Not everybody is a gen generic subscriber. You might have some male, some female, some advanced, some beginners, all these different segmentations within your list. And this is how you can build these guys out. So let's build a new segment for this checklist. And we'll say these are going to be uh, checklist lovers <laughs> or anything that helps you. And what you use with tags is um, if you want to send an email, you want to make sure you send it to people, and, and let's say it's a sales email, you want to sell your new product, you don't want to send that email to people who have, you already know have purchased your product. So a very common thing to use is a tag to understand where all your customers are, and then a tag basically to say if they're interested in your product or not, and you can do that through basically what they sign up for, what emails they click on, and things of that nature. That's kind of geeky, a little uh, bit more advanced there, but essentially being able to have a lot of groups is a great idea. So here, I think we call this checklist. Kind of got on my little soapbox there. I forgot what I was doing. All right, save and continue. And now we should be brought into this awesome little template library where you can see all the different pre-built, pre-designed, these look very good, um, landing page templates. So if you're doing a course, they have a course template for you, an ebook, an ebook template, an invite, pre-launch, et cetera, et cetera. So what kind of most resembles a checklist is an ebook, right? So we'll go ahead and select the ebook template and then we'll do some customization along the way. All right, so here my screen is a little bit smaller than I'd like it to be. Um, let me see what I can do about this here. So I'll just try to shrink this down a little bit. It's gonna make it a little bit weird for you to look at here, but uh, I wanna give you a nice uh, resolution on this video. So here we go. So this gives you already a nice professional looking landing page. It has you know the, the hero section, what they call, where they have all the different uh, you know, the picture of the thing, a little headline, some subtext, and the subscription box. But what's great about this is you can customize everything. You can even add additional content and additional blocks of content into this layout. So let's go ahead and do a couple little things to clean this up. I'm assuming for this example, you don't have a website. Otherwise, you'd probably use your website for the landing page. So what we're going to do here is get rid of these additional links up here at the top. We'll just hover over, find that trash can, and bye-bye header. The header is now gone. You can also click the eyeball to bring it back up. 
So for example, we didn't want to get rid of the entire header, but just want to get rid of these links. We can select the header to come here to our header options and menus, and we'll find this little trash can. I know the resolution is kind of weird, uh, and we'll just remove those links individually. And now we have a clean header. Let's say we want to make our brand on this. So what we'll do here is hit the trash can next to the image, select the image here, and now you have an entire image library within MailerLite where you can either search for free images from Unsplash or free gifts like this dancing kitty from Giphy, or you can upload your own from your com from your computer, or a URL, or things of that nature. So let's find my logo it's somewhere down here. I'll select this guy and pull him in. And immediately you have your logo there on the header. looks very nice. And then let's go ahead and update this uh, ultimate guide to getting more subscribers. Let's remove that and browse. I think I have a book uploaded here. So this is my course, Gutenberg Hero. If you haven't taken it yet, but you're struggling with Gutenberg, you're a perfect candidate for the course. Go ahead and head over to incomemesh.com slash Gutenberg dash hero. And you can check that course out as well. Um, okay, so now this looks like a beastly checklist you got a nice little book here let's say we don't really care for the color of this background of course we can change everything here go to our settings you quickly see the content design here and we can change the background color from that blue to maybe a a red very masculine aggressive color i like it all right and then let's change our headline real quick so if you want to change anything you can go to your content area and then we'll just change the headline from ultimate guide to getting more subscribers and we'll call it instead uh, the ultimate uh, Gutenberg checklist. I just changed this offer to a Gutenberg checklist. And then subtext here, get it now, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, on the sign up form, you can go here to the fields. And if you want to add additional fields, this is another thing that's really cool, is let's say you want to have, like, you want to segment them further and you want to go ahead and add a field. And let's call this field here. Uh, you, let's say you want to know what city they're in. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to know that, but you can add that in there and then they can fill it in directly there. So you can do more than just uh, name and email, which is very nice. Again, you can, you can see how this all works. So let's say about the author, let me remove that guy. That is not me. And let me find a picture of me. So here's one of me and little man in front of church one Sunday. So we'll select that and put that in and it pops it right in there into the landing page. Very nice. Um, now, even cooler is, let's say you're very picky about how things look on your page, which I'm one of them, so you're in good company. We can also rearrange everything that's here. So let's say we want to take the About the Author section and pull it up, if I can, pull it up here and drop it. We can pull this little divider up here and drop it and pull the image of myself. Oh, come on. Yeah, sometimes you have to play, you have to dance with the mouse a little bit. I was close. I missed it a little bit. I think it's because I have my, my screen kind of blown up here to make it bigger for you. Okay, good enough. You get the idea. If you had a bigger monitor than what I'm working on here, uh, that would be easier for you to do as well. Let me just scroll this up a little bit. We can also not only edit the, the sections that are here already, you can also add additional sections. So we'll just save our changes there. And let's say you want to add some urgency to your offer. Let's go ahead and add a countdown timer to this offer here. So what we'll do is we'll find this countdown area. We'll drag this in and let's put it, oh goodness gracious, let's say right below um, this, the hero section. And we'll add some context here. We'll say this offer won't be free for long. And we'll add an expiration date by clicking clicking, clicking on the calendar. And let's say we're going to go till next Saturday. And we'll hit save. It won't show anything yet, but when you do the preview, it will show the actual countdown working. So let's go ahead and save that and preview it to kind of see how it's looking so far. Awesome. So you see the countdown eight minutes and obviously like anything else, you can change the design of that, um, of that countdown timer. So now let's go to the success page. So once they've filled this information in, they hey, say get the get the ebook, they're going to come here to the success page. And by default, it's pretty boring. You know, it is what it is. But what you could do, which I think is a great idea, is add a block in here for content. So if you don't have anything to sell just yet, at least you want to get them more familiar with your brand. So we'll say thank you. Please, you know, be sure to check out my latest post. 
And here you can actually um, come into each piece of the, each one of these content pieces and add an image of your blog post, et cetera, et cetera. So for example, it has recently published a review on Cartflows and a Thrive Apprentice. So we can add a, a little bit about that blog post and then also send them to the URL of the post itself. So that gives you an idea there. This would also be a cool place for you to place like a call to action. If you have a product and you want to link them to the checkout for that product, you can put a button here and there's your button. Go nuts, put the URL to your sales page, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You can have a lot of fun with these landing pages. So I'll go ahead and say we're good with that for now. We'll go to next. So we're happy with the design. Now we get to do some of the back end work where we get to, you know, set up a URL. So if you have a domain, you can set up with your web host and you know, add a subdomain to say, like, for example, I have one here that says go.incomesh.com. So I could actually make a web page that says go.incomesh.com slash ebook. And that would link directly to, let me actually do it. And that could be the URL that it would go to. Uh, if you don't yet, though, you don't need to even have a website yet to start building your list. You can just use their existing subscribe page.com. The only problem is, a lot of people use that, so you have to get creative with your URL. So we'll say ebook for Gutenberg. Let's see if that's taken. So then you can add some SEO information, some Facebook share. So if they do click the share button that was put on your landing page, what do you want the title and description of that um, Facebook post to be? A whole bunch of stuff you can do there. We'll just save and continue and skip that for now. Okay, so it looks like that URL was, was okay. So let's copy the URL before we do anything else and just take a look at it. Okay, and it loads very quickly. Um, everything here, I mean, looks like a page builder built this. It's a really good looking landing page. So now let's look at what our other settings are. So double opt-in, which is basically when they do sign up, they're not gonna go on your list yet. They're gonna get a confirmation email to confirm they wanna be on your list. So we'll leave that to yes. And then once they say yes, you wanna know where to send them. So for example, when you have confirmation double opt-in on, it opens up these additional tabs here, confirmation email and thank you page. So we can check over here to the confirmation email and decide where, um, you know, what content is in this uh, subscribe box. And then also the thank you page, you can either build a thank you page and edit that the same way, or you can send them to, for example, if you have uploaded your ebook or whatever you're offering to your media library, you can link them directly to that button there. Okay, so that's probably enough on landing pages. I really do like the landing page feature. Um, it, it's the, I, in my opinion, it's the best one for the price for um, building a landing page right now. Okay, so that's landing pages. What else is really important with your uh, list building is actually embedding some forms into your website. So we'll go back to our forms here and let's take a look at the embedded forms area. And what's really cool is the pop-ups are awesome with MailerLite. They're not as sophisticated as some WordPress plugins can get, but they give you some really good pop-ups as well. But we'll skip over that for this one. That'll be a separate video altogether. Let's build a quick embedded form as well. And that's gonna be something we can put into our blog post uh, in you know anywhere we want to, kind of like a commercial. So we'll go here and create an embedded form and we'll say uh, ebook checklist again, kind of go with the same theme here. And again, uh, we want to pick which groups we have. So we'll go back with our checklist lovers. And then we're presented with a quite bland looking opt-in form, right? Like there's nothing good looking about that yet, but we can do a couple things. So we'll change the design from default to a card. And so at least we can, all right, we'll choose the card. We can at least put an image onto it. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll browse our images one more time. And let's say, for example, let's just use a different image here. This is going to be our email newsletter signup box. We can change our text right there, but that's good enough for me. And then onto our forms, we can add more fields as well. Uh, all sorts of fun things you can do there. We'll do email and name, but that order is kind of weird. So let's put name on top, name and email now, good. And we can change the color of the button and everything, of course. So let's find out where to do that. Click on the edit button. Subscribe is good, that's a fine fine name. And then we'll just go to the form design here and click on a different color for the background. So let's say, going with our crazy red, that'll be the color there, but they also have a hover color, col uh, uh, I can't talk today, a hover color, it goes from red to black. So let's also go to the button and select a different hover color, just make it a darker red. So now it at least has a nice little hover effect there. 
Okay, so now we have an embedded form and then success message again is you can show this, just thank you, and they won't be directed anywhere else. Um, or you can go ahead and do something kind of better, in my opinion, uh, which is, oh, before we get there, you can, if you want to do the GDPR thing and put on additional checkboxes everywhere, you can click this one little checkbox and your nice little form turns into this whole legal document. And you can choose to keep that and, and make sure that, you know, you stay in the clear, uh, which is great. I'll skip that for now. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and say okay with the design. Now what do we want this form to do? So here in our settings, it looks very much the same. So we'll skip over all of this stuff. Um, but now we're you know, given some rather intimidating looking JavaScript snippets. But don't worry, we're going to skip over all of that. Uh, this is our form. So let's go ahead and go to our website now and do what we need to do to add this form into a blog post. So we're here on one of my test websites. The first thing I want to do is avoid code at all possible because... Even though I like to think that I am, I'm not the techiest of people. So I'll go to Plugins and Add New, and I'll get the official MailerLite plugin. Just by typing MailerLite in the search bar. And official MailerLite signup forms. I'll install it now. All right, rock and roll. So now that it's installed, we'll go down and find it here, somewhere on your left-hand menu, and we'll go to Settings. And now it's going to want you to enter an API key. That's the only thing you need to do to get everything connected between the two. So to find your API key within MailerLite, you can come up here to your account and you can go to integrations. And I'll move this off the screen, but when you click on this button, you're gonna see your API key. So I'll click on use there and I'll copy the API key. And I'll come back here to this uh, page here and move it off the screen for just a moment and paste it in, save the key. Okay, and we're all good to go there. So now I have the API key in, and we can see here MailerLite pop-ups are enabled, and double opt-in, enable or disable, doesn't really matter uh, so much on that side there. So we'll go ahead and save these settings, which is already done, and now let's click over to our signup forms. Now here, it's going to look a little redundant. It says create your first signup form, and this is just, I think the plugin needs a little bit of work, but it, it works really well if you just understand how it's trying to do its thing. So we'll click on add a signup form. And we don't need to create another one again. We'll just say, use a form that we've already created in MailerLite. And we'll say, create the form. And now we get to select the form that we made. And I think I called it ebook checklist. So we'll select this guy and it'll show you the preview right here directly in your WordPress dashboard, which is great. So we'll go ahead and say, save the form. All right, now we should be all good to go. Let's go ahead and go into a post and build a new blog post, and let's put this into it somewhere. Okay, so here we are in the Gutenberg block editor. So we'll say new embedded form. And we'll just say here is my form, and beneath it we want to add the form. So the reason why I added this plugin is because they also have a great Gutenberg block. So we can come here to the plus button and scroll down. I think it's gonna. I never actually search for things because I, I know how to do searching okay here's a widget so it's under widgets and you can go to mail alight sign up form and then we'll be able to select the form that we have if you have multiple in there you'll just select the one from the list and say check and now you have a nice pop looking pop-up form in your blog post we can go ahead and save this draft and take a look at the post so far and we'll click the preview button here Okay, and here we have our uh, example blog post with the title. Here's my form, and there is a blog post form put in here. So let's go ahead and fill it, fill it out real quick. And we'll hit say submit. And as we told it to, it's just going to say thank you. You've successfully joined our subscriber list. I'd recommend you say, hey, you should get an email coming <laughs> as well in the next couple seconds. And if I were to check my email um, with double opt-in being double opt-in being added on and enabled. I'll have received an email in just a moment showing me what the next steps are. All right, so that was a quick overview of MailerLite's interface and building our first landing page and embedded email opt-in form into a blog post. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't checked out MailerLite yet, you might be using MailChimp or some other email service provider. And you know, if, if you don't know what is right for you, just, you know, Take a look at some of these videos. Leave me a comment, any questions you have, anything you're struggling with your existing email provider, and I'll be able to make either some tutorials or some comparison videos for you to help you make your choice more clear. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.